All right, let's finish off section 1.2 by looking at one more set of examples. So I'm on page 75 looking at problem 58. We're asked to find the equation of the line which satisfies the following two properties. First, our line should be parallel to the line y equals 6x plus 5. And two, our line should have its y-intercept be equal to minus 2. So, once again, our answer, or goal, in this whole process is to end up with an answer in the following form. y equals mx plus b. So we must find the right values of m and the right values of b, which will do this for us. So let's start off and find the right value for m in this situation. Well, like in the last video, we don't have two points. In fact, all we have here, because this is a y-intercept, we know the x-coordinate the other variable is zero. All we have is really one point. So we can't calculate m by taking the difference of y's divided by the difference of x's. Instead we have to use the fact that it's parallel to this line. So we need to find the slope of the parallel line and that will allow us to determine the slope of our line. Well, in this case, that's very easy, because to find slope, it's easy enough just to get it in this form and read off what m is. But we're already, this is already in y equals mx plus b form. So the slope of this line is 6, and parallel lines have the same slope. So our slope, our m, is going to be equal to the slope of the given line. It's going to be 6. And if you want, you could use this point or point slope formula to plug this in and then determine B. But B, B plays the role of the y-intercept. B is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept this condition here tells us b is minus 2. So our line has a slope of 6 and a y-intercept of minus 2. And that's all there is to this one. To get a another perpendicular example which is of the two and parallel perpendicular these kind of parallel perpendicular problems are very very similar same kind of style it's just the only thing that changes is how you determine the slope is your slope the same thing as the given line or is it the opposite reciprocal which is what you'll do if they give you a perpendicular line I'm going to have to modify 62. Sixty-two, as it's written, has this condition as find a line parallel to this line and passing through the point one zero. But I want a perpendicular example. I want another example where the given line is perpendicular to the line we're supposed to find. So I'm going to change the problem up and make it the way I want it to be. So our answer, as usual, should be a lot. y equals mx plus b. So let's start it off as we usually do. 
by finding the slope, by finding m. We only have one point, so can't do change in y divided by change in x. We've got to, we've got to use the fact that we know our line is perpendicular to this line. So that means we have to find the slope of minus 2x plus 3y minus 7 equals 0. And in this case, it's probably going to be easiest to do that just by getting this line in slope-intercept form, in this form. So we need to solve for y. Well, let's see. We can either move the 2x or the 7. We'll have to do both, so it really doesn't matter what we do first. If we add 2x to both sides, then we have 3y minus 7 equals 2x. Now if we move 7 over, we'd have to add 7 to both sides to do that, and that gets us 3y equals 2x plus 7. Then, a natural next step would be to divide by 3. So we have 2x plus 7 over 3. And we can kind of distribute the division that the whole denominator can move to each of these things on the side of the plus, each of these, as we call it, terms. And now, we're in the right form. y equals mx plus b. So the slope of this line is 2 thirds, which means m, the slope for our line, is going to be the opposite so we change the sign, and it's going to be a reciprocal. So instead of 2 over 3, we've got 3 over 2. So, that's the slope for our line. We found M. The only other piece of information we need right now is B. And we'll use the point 1, 0 to do so. So we use 1, 0. So we plug 0 in for y, 1 in for x, and b is what we're trying to solve for. Now I forget what our slope is, minus 3 halves. So 1 times anything is just itself. Multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So we have minus 3 halves plus b equals 0. Add 3 halves to both sides. And we find that b is 3 halves. So we know m. We know b. So we know our line. Our line is y equals minus 3 halves x plus b, which we found to be 3 halves.